Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Empress of Energy, ready to jump into a reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So place the sign in your birth chart any way you like. And cross watchers, always welcome to my channel. Hi, Cancerians, how are you doing? You know what? I just want to say quickly. Um, what's going on with you water signs this week? I've seen the devil in every single one of your spreads. I have. Let's get um cancer energy, please, for it. So please. So place a sign of cancer in your birth chart any way you like. And cross watchers are always welcome. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Let's connect energies. If you are returning, welcome back. Hi, hi. Thank you so much. Honestly, I'm overwhelmed like at the support on the channel already. Oh, okay. So for some, I've got fertility. I've seen fertility. Someone could be pregnant. This could be you, someone around you, somebody connected to you energetically. There could be confusion surrounding that pregnancy, however. That won't be for everybody. But tell me about Cancer's energy, please. Spirit, something rising in Venus. Oh, thank you. What's... Okay. We're starting off quite harsh. We're starting off straight we're jumping straight in with the two of swords okay it possibly is something that you're refusing to deal with here cancer something that you don't want to deal with refusing to see you don't want to look at clearly feel tell me more please spirit cancer's energy thank you thank you Oh, there's a lot of swords. Come dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Right, okay. So I feel like you're being told that you're blocking your blessings here, Cancer. You are literally blocking your blessings, or someone is. Look, two of swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's blocking off a brand new stable beginning. Aces of blessings, aces of yes cards, you know, brand new, new things. And this is this could be a new job, this could be going into money, this could be stability for some. But I feel like you're blocking it. A lot of the six of swords as well. There's something that you're refusing to deal with, maybe, or something that you're refusing to look at clearly. But once you take off the blindfold, there's a brand new blessing and this peace. You know, the six of swords, it's sailing into peace, calmer waters, away from the rocky terrain. This is in your energy. Hmm. Oh, the fool. We're coming in with an Aries. There's something that you need to take a risk with. It could be to do with pregnancy. That won't be for everybody, though. But there's something that you need to take a risk with. Tell me more, please. Cancer's energy spirit. <laughs> I've got... Um, I'm just going to point out, I've got my neighbour's child watching me through my living room window. <laughs> so adorable. So adorable. Little Evie May. <laughs> Tell me more about Cancer's energy, please, spirit. I mean, you know, this doesn't have to be you. Take the roles as it resonates. The energy that I'm reading comes with either yours or someone that you're connected to energetically. So, but someone's blocking the blessings. Someone's blocking peace. Or refusing to go in that direction. Look, I feel like, yeah, healing. So many swords. So many swords. Someone to be very, very, very exhausted right now. Very tired. One more, please. Come to the Thank you. One more spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, there. There's your energy. Right, okay. This might not be you. Someone that you could... This doesn't... I don't feel like this is you now. Someone's possibly at a crossroad. I mean, it could be. Let's take it to resonates. But could be dealing with a hermit. Uh, <laughs> could be dealing with a Virgo with a hermit card. Sorry. Um, or a Pisces. But actually, this is also your energy. I can start with the moon. So someone's becoming wise, some kind of mischief. There's something that you're going within about. There's something that you're doing some self-reflecting on, some introspection. And it's to do with some kind of mischief, secrets. It could be your emotions. But we'll find out more and we'll clarify in a minute. But someone's blocking a blessing. Someone's blocking peace. Someone's blocking healing. Maybe because you need to do this. Uh, cancer. Maybe you need to step into the hermit energy. Maybe you need to do some isolating. Spending some time by yourself, looking to the light, finding the truth maybe to a situation. Because, you know, the moon can represent secrets, hidden things, mystery. But we'll clarify, yeah, you're stuck. You're stuck in a situation and you're, you're blocking whatever's meant for you, is what I'm getting, cancer. Wake up. 
wake up your divine is telling you the spirit's telling you wake up let's clarify oh. for some there could be something that you're wanting to build on that's just possibly not gonna happen so you you know you keep yourself stuck in that energy but that won't be for everybody <laughs> she's still there grinning a little self out there bless her bless her she's so cute yeah, very strong air yeah, energy around you. Kind of, so you could have this in your birth chart, or you could, you know, you could be dealing with one. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's heartbroken. I feel like you're heartbroken over something. You need to do some. You need to do some going within. You need to do some reflecting on something. Mm, tell you about this energy, please. Don't dance to spirits. I'm not gonna be nice. Let's clarify. Let's find out. Let's clarify this energy. Thank you. So yes, if these messages are resonating, please do subscribe. Let me know. I love hearing the feedback, the comments. I love reading them. I do get around to replying. Let me know where you're watching from as well. I love hearing that. I'm in a little town in Manchester, England. <laughs> I'm very Mancunian. Okay, so this could be something to do with a home situation, a family situation for some. This is something that you love a lot. Maybe... Or the, Maybe for some of you, you're refusing to see the truth to a situation, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's 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 see. Tell me about this two swords, please. Cancer's energy, spirit, somebody rising of Venus. <clears throat> Tell me about this two swords, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. This could be someone that you've already blocked. This could be something that you've already blocked. Your ex is here. <laughs> Someone from your past is here. Six cups. And we've got the we've got the strength card, Leo energy. Um, oh, the hierophant. Right, okay. So for some of you, you've blocked someone that you've had a very long connection with, a long term relationship with, a higher level of con uh, commitment. You have blocked this off, and because of how fond you know how many fun memories you have of the past this has taken you a hell of a lot of strength and courage to be able to do so for some of you you are you are already, you're at crossroads right now on what to do and i feel like you you know your guides are telling you here regardless of the fun memories that you have from the past with the six cups energy you do have to gather your strength and your courage here cancer to possibly block off this high level of commitment there's some kind of lessons that you've learned along this along this journey which is again made you have to have strength with something it's not been easy you know whatever the situation is it could be a job for some but something's not been easy you know there's taming a lion um within yourself you know like in it this you've had to keep yourself maybe very tame and learn some lessons whilst going through this process <clears throat> You've had to walk away from someone that you could possibly still find very attractive. So I've got this Ace of Pentacles, please. But this is a brand new stable beginning. This is a blessing. Oh, yes. What is that? Oh, honestly, there's pregnancy around you for some. <laughs> She's knocking on the window now, bless her. There's pregnancy around you. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Oh, wow. Honestly, yeah. You could be pregnant right now, Cancer. The Divine Feminines. Either you or someone that connects to the could be pregnancy. Well, this is, I feel like it's very good news. It's good news. Maybe some of you, maybe some of you are a bit unsure because of a past energy, a past commitment, a past, you know, past connection. Don't be. Because look, this is Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. This is stable. This is happy. This is grounded. This is... Also, for some two people coming together, but this is a lot of abundance. The Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Pent Pentacles. I'm like, wow, that's absolutely stunning energy, to be honest. You know, there's something being birthed. If it's not an actual, you know, if it's not a pregnancy involved here, there's, there's something being birthed into existence with the Queen of Cups. This could already be to do with some, with you know, someone that you have children with. This is coming back together. This is starting all over again, maybe. Mm. we have got your ex here you know so 
all your general readings will take it to resonate but i hope it's making sense oh the emperor mommy and daddy of the deck is in your spread doesn't happen a lot could deal with an aries I'll tell you about the six of swords please and cancer's energy but this is moving into calmer waters there could have been a lot you know some conflict some kind of up and down emotion emotion wise oh, wow wowzers another blessing another blessing cancer the ace of wands so for some of you this could be definitely to do with work and it's something new being completely birthed into exist in, into existence and it is possibly going to be to do with some kind of mother parental child mother child kind of theme i want to say that's going to bring in so much abundance but that's not going to be for everybody um but this is a fam i feel like there's a family coming back together here Maybe you're, yeah, you're weighing up these options. You're, you're weighing the options up here of starting again with somebody. This might be what you're refusing to do at the moment with this two of swords because it's something that you're refusing to do, and it's possibly to do with your ex because you're gonna have to be very strong with it. You know, there's a lot of lessons that you've had to learn from this, but there's a new beginning possibly being offered to you. This is what this person's being offered to you. Maybe they're offering to have more children. That could have been an issue in the past, but I feel like whatever you want, you're gonna get from this person is what I'm getting. Um. But maybe you're weighing up what that is. Tell you about the six of swords, please. Cancer, energy, spirit, somebody rising Venus. Oh, okay. The six of pentacles. I want to get one more before I say anything. Okay. So for some of you, you are refusing to possibly want to, or you, I say refusing, but you know, there's something that you're at a crossroads with because someone wants to start again, but somebody treated you like an option, treated you like a choice. There could have been a lot of breadcrumbing involved here from this person. Um, there could have been another, another energy involved. Someone could have started something quite passionately, but you know, just like a one time thing, I want to say. Um, but you found this out. Maybe that could be the pregnancy that you found out about. But um, that won't be for everybody. But someone start put someone could have possibly started something. But I'm getting one night stand vibe. Um, but you did not stand for that. You did not stand for that. Um, but for others, you know, someone could have been doing this for a while. Um, and there's a little bit of confusion surrounding the situation now. You know, feeding to do two different energies with the six of pentacles. There's an imbalance. There's a lack. And I feel like you're on the receiving end, receiving end of the lack. Someone's be, someone was being fed more than you was, whether that's time, attention, focus, efforts. Um, because someone did have choices. Someone did have options. But someone could have also confused you with all of this. And this is what you're trying to find peace within. But there's something that you're blocking in order to gain this peace that you're looking for. You're exhausted. Mm, tell me about this four of swords please and cancer's energy thank you yeah you you need to rest in order to i feel like you're very tired at the moment cancer but there's an energy here of walking away from something but you're not going to be able to do this unless you have a rest you need to have a time out you get your cups it's walking away from something that you possibly do care about wow okay the queen of pentacles so you're walking away from something that there is emotion involved within it but you're walking towards your own stability your own you know finding your own balance with the queen of pentacles you know she's like head of house she's very abund abundant she's you know she, again this could be to do with a job um but there's a lot of abundance around you cancer someone could be someone could have told you something that was possibly that that's you know made you make this decision two of wands honestly so you're choosing yourself i feel like you're choosing yourself your home your children your family i feel like you're choosing yourself you're putting yourself in your own wants and needs but your your stability's needs not yours on a personal level like emotion and love wise um you're choosing your home you're choosing your stability that's what you're doing yeah, there's someone someone could have brought another any another energy into your environment and that's what you need to heal from. Um that could be what you're blocking off, what someone's done. But tell me about this hermit, please. But this is, you know, going within, doing some reflecting, seeing the light, spending some time alone. 
Four and Five of Wands conflict. You do you, you're, you're not interested in fighting. You're not interested in arguing. You're not interested. You you're coming across as like the older, maturer kind of energy, even though you're the one that's been done wrong. Is what I want to say. Someone's still trying to someone's still trying to create drama with you, and you're just like you're you're above that. You're standing above that right now. Even though there's secrets involved, maybe you're not you're not interested. You're not asked. Let's have more, please, for this hermit. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people coming at you, so there's like the two of pentacles. It's like you know having too much. You know, there's a lot to juggle, and I feel like there's possibly too many people to possibly argue with, or I don't know. There could be a, definitely more than one energy involved that you, that could be trying to cause conflict with you, and you're again you just but you are you are wondering should I get in, you know should I jump should I buy should I and but I feel like you're not I feel like you're sitting above it above it. Wow, three of cups, nine of pentacles, and the king of cups. Yeah, so I feel like you're celebrating you right now, Cancer. You know you're weighing up your options of do I. Do I get involved in this conflict? Do I get involved in this drama? Or do I continue to just completely focus on myself? Do I continue to put myself first? My own feelings, my own energy, my own vibe. The people that are around me, do I continue to put myself? Because I feel like that's what you're introspecting about on what to do. And when in doubt, always choose yourself. No, tell you about this moon. Okay, the page of pentacles. Someone's coming in to offer something, but there could be secrets involved in that. Wow, the king of pentacles. The moon again, what the hell? What? So, someone's coming in soon, Cancer. Could be dealing with an earth, an earth sign, so I always feel like a Capricorn, but there's still secrets involved with this, but the moon here twice. Like, that doesn't happen. It, you know, that's rare. Really rare. But I feel like this. For some of you, there's something completely unexpected that's about to be pretty much like dropped on your doorstep. Some of you could be coming into money unexpectedly, but as far as love goes, um, someone's coming in. That you possibly really don't expect or i still i'm strongly getting that there's secrets around this tell me about this moon here twice spirit please for cancer tell me about this moon energy sorry guys Oh, can't turn it off. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> sorry about this moon energy, please, for cancer. <clears throat> what is it? Okay. Right, okay. For, so, for the majority, for the collective, I feel someone's coming in here offering you something that you just really do not expect. You really don't. Possibly because you have blocked them off. But there's it again, the Ace of Pentacles. It could be a new job, a new offer of something. But you don't expect it coming. You don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. I mean, it's being presented as a blessing. So, you know, take that as it resonates, Cancer. I hope that has helped. I hope that's given guidance. Um, but please do let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, but I shall see you on the next one. Thank you so much.